Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. In previous video, we looked at the intuition for multi-plus, multi-output algorithms in scikit-learn. And in this video, we look at the implementations of these topics: binary, binarized target, multi-output regressor and classifier, and then regressor and classifier chain. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can code. Here I've imported uh, these libraries uh, where uh, uh, the new library is uh, multi output and other libraries are the same that we have used previously. So let's run this. And uh, these are the versions that I'm using. Now for data, we'll use this same data set. So this would be our uh, input features by columns so one two and three features and then we have multi so targets we have uh, y which is one two and three so we have three different targets and so we'll use this uh, x and y but before we do that for example to show how to binarize we'll use a, a different example there so for binarize target uh, for this let's create an array y is equal to np dot array and this can be the same as what we used in the previous video which is car truck truck and then finally we have a bike and if we want to we can reshape it but it's not needed okay so we have the y so now we need to binarize this so what we can do is so this would be a dense matrix for this we can create label binarizer and uh, here we can perform fit transform y and so we get this matrix and similar to this we can get a sparse matrix also so sparse which is sparse dot psr matrix y under so let's call this y underscore dense is equal to that so y underscore dense and then we can use the y underscore dense here to convert it to uh sorry run those and again um so this needs to be printed so let's put y underscore sparse here and then print y underscore sparse and here now we have the output so so now as you can see we have uh, two different uh, variations of the binarized version of the target now with that i'll go ahead and run this cell and we can proceed with uh, creating the very first multi output regressor so multi output output regressor and for this uh, the x and y is what we already have up above so we'll split that into train and test x underscore train x underscore test y underscore train y underscore test is equal to train underscore test underscore split uh, x and y and with that we can create the uh, instantiate this variable reg as a multi output dot multi output regressor and ensemble or gradient boosting regressor so that's what we are using here and then we can fit this on the x train and y train y underscore train and then predict y underscore pred is equal to uh, reg dot predict x underscore test and then we can get the matrix as usual matrix dot mean underscore squared underscore error and here we have y 
y underscore test y underscore bread and we can get the mac so that's a one implementation of multi output regress so, so here the y that we have has multiple uh multiple columns and uh in the previous video i mentioned that these should be floats so if we look at y underscore train uh it so it is not float so if we want to we can convert this to float so here we can type as type and then type float 32 and then run this so now we have white uh, y train is in float format and so that's the mac or the mean squared error we have now for regressor chain uh, let's see regressor regressor chain for this we'll use again the same data set uh, let's convert this to markdown and here what i'm going to do is copy uh, this entire code from above uh, and he, the changes would be in this particular part instead of these we are going to use variable let's say base regressor is equal to linear underscore model dot ridge so we are using ridge for regression and then for chaining we have multi output regressor chain base underscore reg and we can use the chain fit on x train y train x underscore train y underscore train then use that to predict and finally we can use the predicted value to get the mac and so that's the output mac so in this case what we have done is we have used a linear model ridge uh, along with the regression chain and just to see what regressor chain has uh, as arguments we can look in the docs so here as you can see uh, it, uh, it takes a base estimator that we have provided as the uh, base underscore reg and then the order can be anything so we can also specify the order as random uh, in here so for example we could uh, specify order is equal to random and we get the output now moving on let's look at multi output classification so let's move this up and look at multi output classification we'll create another x and y x y is equal to make underscore multi label underscore classification n underscore samples is equal to 12 n underscore classes is equal to 3 and random underscore state is equal to 0 and again we can use the x underscore train y underscore train sorry x underscore test y underscore train y underscore test is equal to train underscore test underscore split and this would be x and y and now we have our uh, this classification so we need clf is equal to multi output dot multi output classifier and this would be ensemble dot gradient boosting classifier and here uh, let's run this part first so we have that and now just wanted to show what the y looks like so that's our y we have multiple multiple targets but each of the target has only two classes either zero or one 
and so here we are just doing the train test split and then we created the uh, instantiated this variable clf and now we have clf dot fit on the train x underscore train y underscore train and we can predict so y underscore red is equal to clf dot predict x underscore test and we have y underscore red there and this is our y underscore test so so these are the actual values and these are the predicted values so uh, this is the small data set uh, and we see that there uh, just this one value was predicted correctly these were correct so some of them are correct some of them are not now we can use the same data set for the classifier chain uh, classifier chain and for this uh, again we can create we'll use the same xpy so here we have base underscore we'll use linear reg linear model logistic regression lr is equal to linear underscore model dot logistic regression and i will use all the default values then we we can use chain is equal to multi output dot classifier chain and this would have base underscore logistic regression as an input and we can use that chain to fit on x underscore train y underscore train and then use the same chain to predict so uh, y underscore pred is equal to chain dot predict x x underscore test and now we look at y underscore pred so that's the output we get and y underscore test that's the original data so as we can see in both top this one and this one the output is is the same but then here we are using the uh, classifier chain and here we were not using that and here we used logistic regression uh, linear model perform the classification task so that was it for this video i hope in this and previous video you learned the intuition behind how to uh, use uh, these tools in scikit-learn which is for multi uh, multi-class and multi-output uh, classification regression setups so if you have uh, more than one targets or if you have a target with more than one classes uh, you can binarize it into more, more than one target and use some of these tools to perform the predictions also uh, uh, the chaining is a very powerful in the sense that if you have um, uh, methods that do not natively support multiple target outputs you can chain them and use them here to uh, uh, work uh, to get the multiple targets uh, work with them uh, for getting the predict prediction values so that was it for this video I hope to see you all in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.